the Honorable Director General of the FAO, the Honorable Prime Minister of Bhutan, Honorable Ministers of Member Nation States from the 35th Asia Pacific Regional Conference of FAO, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan with a population of 220 million has nearly 19% of its GDP generated through the agriculture sector. Uh, we are trying that those people living the below the poverty line in particular are sustained in these difficult times of COVID-19. Uh, there's a, we had a attack of the locust recently. We've also had um, adverse weather conditions at the time of harvest of our wheat. We are short by about one and a half million tons this year. So we need to, uh, we are going to import wheat so that we have a availability uh, to those who uh, require nutrition from wheat. And we are hoping that uh, our country will be able to uh, meet all the challenges, uh, whether it's of climate change, whether it's of locust, whether it's of COVID-19. Our agricultural growth rate was about 2.7, 2.8%, where it should have been about 3.5, partially uh, on account of uh, COVID-19. But uh, by and large, the agriculture sector has done better than the uh, other sectors of our economy. And the our government of Pakistan and the Prime Minister of Mr. Imran Khan has been able to uh, bring about certain transformational changes in uh, policy where we would be promoting our five, five major uh, components. We need to uh, upgrade our research, our extension, our education systems of agriculture, whereby we can meet our objectives, our targets of transforming through more investment in the human resource through quality education, through better health facilities. Uh, and when we generate more in our economic activity, employment opportunities uh, would rise up. We would like to digitalize uh, a fair amount of our agro technologies so that we can map out the uh, soil conditions and we can uh, bring about better uh, quality and we need to upgrade our seed technology in particular, uh, make our inputs of chemicals and other uh, and to carry out the best practices um, as, as are carried out in the more advanced countries of the world. Overall, our strategic objective would be to raise our productivity per hectare and have surpluses rather than deficits, and as we have done this time with wheat. And it can only happen when policies are framed which will benefit and bring about the income uh, for the farming community. Unfortunately, in the past, uh, more um, thrust has been to promote uh, the commercial industrial sectors at the cost of the agriculture sector. We want to uh, bring about a better balance between our different sectors of the economy, manufacturing, agriculture and the service sectors. Thank you.